Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, yeah, so today I thought we'd start working on the editor state because, I mean, we've been working on settings and, and main menu state and, and all that crap. And it uh, might get a little boring. Now, I know all of you don't think that's boring, but... Um, for those of you who do, we'll be working on the editor for a little while, getting some tile sheets in, um, probably um, <clears throat> looking at how we're going to make the map and everything. Um, but to get started, first of all, our editor state needs a pause menu, and we don't really have a pause menu. Uh, but a state that has a pause menu is the game state. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to look at what it has. So grab this pause menu include and I put it right in here then what we're gonna need is pretty much the editor or the game state CPP for init pause menu so I'm just gonna grab that real quick put that in editor state dot CPP functions and then we'll have private functions here so init buttons, init key binds, that's fine. Right there, init pause menu. Obviously you wanna do that. And then we're gonna put that in the H as well. So void init pause menu like this. So once we have that ready, um, then we're gonna have a P menu here as well. So we have a font and then pause menu, P menu very easy also a pointer right so we're gonna make a new pause menu and then we're gonna delete this pause P menu like that so we're just gonna go ahead and delete it we'll have a little quit button and everything just like we did for the um, game state so there you go now you got a nice little pause menu we're gonna have to initialize it in the editor state CPP you know where we always initialize it um, and that should be right after keybind. So this init pause menu. And this really makes it easy to see which order everything is done. That's why we have everything in these init functions. Uh, editor state. Wait, did I just... Whoops, I put that in init buttons. You don't probably don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, that would be a very bad idea. So I'm just going to delete P menu right here. Like this. And then close for the end state. No, we're going to use if this P menu uh, is button pressed. Quit. Then. Because I think that's what we're doing in it. Pause menu. Quit. Yeah, that's the text. So quit the quit button. Then we will end the state. Um, then we'll make a void. Let me see. You know what? We're just going to check this out in the game state. Update input. Update player input. Update pause menu buttons you know what would be nice would be just to have your update input right here and not have it in an update pause menu buttons um, but the reason for that was this okay um, that's because when it was paused and wasn't paused all right so we got to go back here and into the H file and we're going to do a void update buttons update void update pause menu buttons like this probably gonna define that as well uh, I don't know what the hell that is but okay come on come on come on are you gonna let me or not no it's not gonna let me okay so it doesn't really matter uh, or we could just copy this update pause menu buttons into editor state dash cpp so I'm going to put it right here. Editor state. There you go. So if it's 
pressed we quit otherwise we end state so we could probably remove that from update input uh, cool all right so mouse positions update input good if this paused um, else if this is not paused else if it is paused so I'm going to have to look at this again. So update input, key time. Okay, yeah, we need the key time as well. State update key time. So I'm just going to use that. That means that we can, since it's in state, we can update it in any state we want. Update input, fine. Um, good. Update pause menu buttons. So how do we do this? Update player input. We don't need any of this update. We'll just copy these and we'll put them right in here. So we don't really have anything unpaused here. Unpaused. Paused. All right. Updating buttons is going to be an unpaused state thing since the only buttons we have is what okay yeah we don't really have any buttons but that's fine we will do it that way player okay good then we need the paused render so we'll just copy this just like this go in here now we need to change up the render thingy render buttons paused um then we'll render the pause menu basically pretty much and then we'll uncomment this because we're gonna need to get the mouse text and uh, yeah then one last thing we're gonna need to do is if uh, sf keyboard is key pressed keyboard s or um is key pressed this key binds at uh, close. Is that how you do it? I'm not sure. Let's look at this update input. This key because this key binds dot at. Okay, but where is the escape press? I don't really understand that. Uh, let's see. Paused. This pause. Here we go. Update input. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and put it in the editor state like this and then we'll pause the state and unpause the state very very nice very nice very nice okay so now we should be able to try this and we should be able to exit out of our editor state like we want hopefully that will let us um play around with it so here we go we got our editor state paused quit settings back new game quit okay so we can quit out of the editor that's fine that's working just like i wanted to and then we'll quit cool all right so the next thing the editor is going to need is basically a little a little map all right so the editor state and we have the buttons, of course, and then we're going to have to include tile map dot H. And then we're going to make a tile map map like this. Um, and once we have that, we can start adding to it. So we're going to have to work with the tile map class. Basically, and we're going to have to make sure we can add items to it, add tiles, um, set a what do you call it a texture sheet to it and then yeah pretty much 
go from there. So that's how it's going to work. Now, let's just open up tilemap.cpp for now or H as well. Now, let's see how that looks. So we don't have any texture sheet yet. We just have the core kind of map uh, map thing going here. So basically, if I would call render, it would just render the map for me. So let's just try that out. Let's go in here. Uh, let's say we do anything and then this map dot render target. And let's try to run this. Hopefully it's not too big. I don't remember what size I had it at, but probably wait before I run that. Let me just see. Okay. 10, 10. Okay. That's fine for debug. So let's try this editor. Okay. And we got the tile map rendering and it's not rendering in here. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Uh, but here I want to be able to add stuff to it. So basically we're going to, in the next video, we're going to start off here in the tile map. And we're going to add something called resize. We're going to add add a tile, uh, create this using a texture sheet. So I'll ha I already have a texture sheet, kind of, which we can use from my other project just for testing. And, uh, and yeah, kind of just add tiles together. It should be fine. Probably increase the grid size to... What happens if we just increase the grid size here? Uh, and then run this. Let's just see. The map should be... Whoops, back editor. Yeah, it, it got bigger. So every tile is about a hundred like that. That's probably what we want, you know, because otherwise there will be too many tiles in each each uh, each screen. But we're probably gonna do this, and then we're gonna zoom in quite a bit. So it's gonna it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. So that's a problem with modern gaming. Like you got so much stuff in the screen all the time. So you gotta kind of remove as much as you can so it doesn't lag and bug out. Uh, but that should be fine. There you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the description box, all that stuff. Uh, also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. I know I've been going a little slow, as always, like I say in every video, but, you know, I'm trying. There's a lot of things that go into, you know, making a game, and we, have, we don't even have a beginning of a game, and look how many classes we have. So, basically, just working on the engine, making sure everything is nice and neat before we get into all the all the important other stuff, you know, the gameplay stuff. So just remember that. I know a lot, everyone gets a little impatient sometimes, but just just remember, if you want to do it properly, it takes a while to get everything going. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.